What's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Retail Therapy. It's been a long time, and we're finally back. There's been a lot of stuff going on, a lot of work being done. Uh, it's glad to be back making videos and getting prepped up for the season. Um, lo lots of stuff. I told you in my last video I was getting ready to do some kayak tournament fishing. So there's been a lot of that stuff going on, a lot of preparation. But more importantly, uh, last season was horrible for me. Uh, for the crew as a whole, it was just a bad season. So this season, I want to focus on utilizing the stuff that I know works, but at the same time, learning some new techniques. Getting more comfortable with the techniques that I'm not good with, that I don't have confidence with, like spinner baits. You know, I'm horrible with spinner baits. So I want to start using them more. I want to start using lipless crate baits more. You know, and I want to learn some new stuff. The Demiki rig, the free rig. You know, spy baits, all that stuff I want to explore because I want to expand my arsenal, you know, to be able to use tons of different things and, and multiple different techniques to try to catch bass. So, as always, you got to get all this stuff. You got to buy all this stuff. I did this uh, Tackle Warehouse sale back in November. Uh, I, I usually do the, the unboxing video in either late November or December, but it's just been kind of crazy, so I haven't done it. So... Now's the perfect time to get back into the swing of things. I got a whole slew of videos for you. Um, but first, the winner for the Gorilla Grip Gloves picked a winner. I think Jeff Wyari is his name. Uh, I left him a, a comment <laughs> on the video. Jeff Wyari, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Congratulations, you won the gloves. So I need your address and I'll get Gorilla Gloves to send you a pack of gloves. Congratulations. So let's get started. I got a ton of stuff. This isn't like the biggest tackle warehouse unboxing, but it's the biggest unboxing because I got so much stuff. I got stuff from Beast Coast. I got stuff from Bass Pro. I got stuff from Canadian Baits. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. Let me start with Canadian Baits. So I found Canadian Baits on Instagram and they make incredible stuff. Uh, he's, he's just one guy. I got just a sample. I got a sample bag of his baits. I hope you can see all the details in there. I got the blood worms with the blood splatter on them. Uh, you know, I got the injected worms that are transparent. Let me take some of these out. So these, they're transparent on the outside and they got a little color injection on the inside. Totally unique. And then I got these, and every one of these worms has a different like blood splatter uh, pattern on them, and and they glow in the dark. This guy's awesome. He he's got some really great colors. He's got colors that no other bait maker makes. He's got the most unique colors. Canadian baits. Look them up on Instagram. First out, the Daiwa. Prokeon AL 2500D. Why? Because I had to. I'm, I'm, I'm building another rig probably for doing uh, free rigging or Demiki or spy bait rig. So I want to get another dope spinner reel. It, it, it's a really good deal and it's a beautiful reel. Kind of looks like something you'd see at uh, Bass Pro Shops, Johnny Morris or whatever. It's even got the colors and Daiwa makes their reels anyway. So beautiful reel. So, I'm going to rig that up soon. The funny, thing, Another funny thing is I started going through all my baits and organizing all my baits. And I realized that I couldn't organize any of my new baits until I did this unboxing. <laughs> so, that's another thing that triggered it. I'm like, I got to do this unboxing. So, last season I started using these things called E-Eliminators. Okay, so there they are. E-Eliminators. Three new bags of these. It is a perfect punching bait. It is designed to be a punching bait. While you could use it for other things, you could swim it slow, uh, you could throw it on a jig as a trailer. But these things, they look exactly like a tadpole. So it's a totally unique looking bait that the bass probably haven't seen yet. So, got one of those, or a bunch of those. I also ordered, I like buying from local bait makers and there's a few around here so uh beast coast 
makes these gigantic swim baits. I mean, they're not gigantic in terms of the, the California swim baits that cost $100, but these are, uh, you know, soft plastic swim baits that go on big swim bait hooks. Uh, I'm getting into these. Uh, I got a lot of different ones, different colors. I want to start using these this season. Beast Coast also makes some great jigs. So I picked up a couple of their jigs. Uh, because of Massachusetts law, we have to we have to flip and pitch with tungsten. So I got a couple of their tungsten jigs right here. And lastly, they also make some nice punch baits. Uh, these are their pulse craws. So there you go, Beast Coast. Check them out. I'll, I'll put links for all this stuff if I can remember it in the comments section. Everybody knows by now that you don't go fishing without some Berkeley power bait. So uh, I already have enough flat worms. I got enough hit worms. I needed some more trailers. So these creature hogs, picked up a couple more bags of these to go in the power bait section of my wall, <laughs> which is right here. Uh, this is good stuff. So even though the flatworms are dope, especially for drop shot and smallmouth fishing, the bass love all this Max Scent stuff because it tastes good to them. Um, I'm a huge fan of missile baits. I have a ton of missile bait uh, Ned Bombs and I wanted to top that off. So I got four packs of Bomb Shots. These are their uh, drop shot version of, of their, their Ned Baits. It looks like a Ned Bomb, but uh, it's slightly different. Uh, great, great on a drop shot. Missile baits. Love these. Okay. Um, got some more TRD tubes from Z-Man. Uh, needed a couple more packs of these. We do, we're going to be doing a lot of New Hampshire fishing, so, you know, these small finesse type baits, uh, Ned rigs, things like that, they work great in those clear waters with the small mouth. Uh, got some Trokar Helix drop shot hooks. So it makes it easier to extend the leader without retiring the whole thing. They're on a little swivel. So I got some of these. This is a Jacob Wheeler triple bladed spin bait. Like I said, I'm going to be doing some more spinner baits this season. So picked one of these up. Didn't buy a ton of them. You know, I like to try a few things out to figure out if I like it or not before I, I go ham on it. So, uh, as you know, spring is the time for jerk baits. So, I'm a huge fan of the Rick Clun jerk baits. So, they call them Rick Clun, Rick Clun, Rick Clun, uh, Rick Clun Classics. Rick Clun Classic Series. So I got three more of these. I have a couple of these in my box, and I loved using them last season. I actually caught some bass on them. Uh, these are from Lucky Strike. So I picked up three more of those to add to my arsenal. I always wanted to know, what are those jerk baits with the propellers on them? So I started doing research. They're called spy baits. And a spy bait is kind of like a cross between a jerk bait and a lipless crankbait. Like a lipless crankbait, they sink and they're shaped like a jerk bait. But they sink and then you reel them back slow. And, and the little propellers on these things drive the fish crazy. So I'd already bought some jerk baits from this company called Duo. I had the Duo Realist. So I got the uh, Duo, supposedly the best in the industry is the uh, Duo Spy Baits. And I got three colors. I got perch, shad, and uh, something else. But uh, those those are badass. So I, I can't wait to get into this. And I think I'm going to throw these on that new rig. I haven't decided yet. Uh, another company I like, Damiki. Damiki makes some cool stuff. They make great jerk baits. So I got a couple Damikis to throw in there. Jerk baits can get really expensive. On average, they're like $8.99, but I mean, I've seen them for $25, uh, on average $13, $16. Uh, I think these, I think the Demikis cost me $13 bucks, so I have to double check that. They can be pretty expensive though. Yeah, nobody likes losing uh, a good jerk bait. 
Um, I also picked up some Gamakatsu drop shot hooks on a swivel. Okay, got these and they work fine. Uh, again, makes it easier for you to tie on a leader, uh, you know, change the length of your leader without re rigging the entire drop shot. Okay, so you get the one with the swivel on it. Shin Fukai recommended. Uh, he's like the king of <laughs> he, he's the king of finesse fishing. Shin Fukai, if you ever watch his videos, he's awesome. Uh, all right, so what else we got here? Everybody knows by now if you're into Trapper Tackle, Trapper Tackle is pretty much going out of business, so all their stuff's on sale. Uh, was I was on their pro team, still am, I guess, until they, they completely did. So I picked up some more Trapper Tackle hooks because you got to change out. Anytime you get new crankbaits, uh, anytime you get new jerk baits, you got to change out the hooks. You need better hooks. So, boom. Berkeley X9. I live and die by this stuff. So I got two packs of Berkeley X9, uh, Chartreuse, and these are 20 uh, for my finessing. These are the, this is the Jordan Lee uh, brand of Berkeley Finesse. So yeah, it's got that, that Chartreuse color. So I'll probably re-rig one rod and then one of these will go on to the new deal. And I didn't go crazy with shirts this year, so I just got one type of warehouse shirt. Boom. That, that's just, so that's Beast Coast Tackle Warehouse. I got more. So let me get more of this stuff here. So as you know, I know you guys out there who are bait crazy like me, you can't walk into a Bass Pro or a Cabela's and not buy anything. So there's always something. I mean, I truly feel I have enough tackle to last me a lifetime, but there's always something. So, I made a trip to Cabela's Bass Pro. Uh-oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm, I'm, since I'm doing the Domeki rig this season, I figured I would try the Berkeley Max Scent Minnow. So they make these little minnows, which are great on drop shot, but I think they would also be good on a Domeki rig. Again, more power, more max scent power bait for the wall. Whenever you see purple, grab it. Okay, this stuff is awesome. The guy from Berkeley told me about this stuff at ICAST. He said, you got to try the max scent. Uh, this was in 2019. I got it and it worked well for me for an entire season. I was using uh, their hit worms on a Neko rig. Caught a ton of bass. Then all of a sudden they were using an MLF and winning tournaments with it. All the flatworms are selling out everywhere. Everywhere. You still can't find them. Go to any web page right now. Go to Tackle Warehouse, Tackle, Depo, Tackle Supply Depot, Tackle Direct, Amazon, eBay. On eBay, a package of flatworms that's usually $6 is selling for like 20 bucks right now. <laughs> it's like, what is going on? So anyway, yeah. Um, so as far as tungsten goes, I needed some red for the spring season. Bass Pro in their XPS series, they make ton tungsten football jigs and finesse jigs. So I get a lot of jigs directly from uh, Bass Pro shops. Don't sleep on them. Uh, again, uh, this is more red for this season. These are the pickups I got. So you know what, I, I need more red. I got a ton of green pumpkin, black, blue, I need more red. So this is a uh, Bad Shad. Bad Shad caught me a lot of bass last season. It is a small, slender uh, crankbait. And smallies love this. They tear it up. Lastly, because I had to round out my jerk baits, I got some Lucky Strike. Oh, here's another Bad Shad. There's another Bad Shad for you. Because I lost this color last season, so I had to replace that. Um, and there's a perch color too. But I had to get a couple of these Lucky Strikes or Lucky Crafts. Uh, Lucky Craft jerk baits. You can never go wrong having plenty of jerk baits in, in your arsenal. You, you just gotta have them. They go. Okay. There's more. 
I haven't got my kayak yet. I think I'm getting it in a week or so. Uh, I, I'm debating on shipping it or driving to pick it up. But uh, you got to get stuff for your kayak. That's that's another whole game right there. All right, it's not a boat in the, in the sense where okay, boat. You got a fish finder. Uh, you got the engine and a couple other things that you put on there. Your creature comforts. A kayak, especially the kayak I'm getting, you got to get all kinds of Q branch stuff. So. This thing is called a Yak Attack cell block. So it's a little box that you can put a tiny uh, 12 volt, 10 amp hour Dakota lithium battery, which is on its way. Put the battery in the box and then you wrap the wires around the cleats and then you sit the fish finder on top of the box. And then it has this arm that you attach to it. This is called the switch blade. It's called a transducer arm. So, I don't know if you can see the pictures on the box, but you hook this arm up to this box. So this is, this keeps you from, this saves you from running a transducer cable all through your, your kayak. You literally put the fish finder on the cell block where the battery is, tighten up the, the transducer cable around the cleats on the box, hook this arm up, and then when you're ready to fish, you pop the arm up into the water, and then your transducer is sitting in the water must have okay I also got a couple of these uh, spare rod tubes for some stuff I'm going to be doing Q branching uh, one of these is going to be used for this this is <laughs> okay so when you do a kayak fishing you got to have a net you cannot afford to pull a fish, to whip a fish, a heavy, especially if you're heavy fishing, to, to boat flip that fish or kayak flip that fish and have that flip fish fall off the hook and then lose it. That's money. So this this thing right here, it's a rubber net from Yak Attack. It's called a leverage landing net. So you stick this sucker in the raw tubes. When you see a fish, when you catch a fish, you grab this thing, put your arm in it, you flip this out. And now you got all this leverage. <laughs> so while you're holding the rod, you can grab the fish, set your rod down, take the fish out, do your thing, and then you close it back up and put it back in your boat. And it, I don't know how to use it yet, so we'll figure that out later. There's a little button here. There's, there's some way of doing it. There's a button here somewhere, but I can't see it right now. But anyway, I'll read the instructions when you guys are gone. <laughs> when the video's over, I'll read the instructions. There's a way to pop it back in place. But anyway, this thing's dope. A must-have. Uh, the leverage is needed because you're already on a small vessel. You got a three-pounder, four-pounder on your rod. You got to have some leverage, and being able to put this on your arm like this really helps. So that's that's dope. There's still more. Hold on. You know, whenever you see kayak videos, you always see them. They got a milk crate in the back or one of those black boxes. I wanted something that I could really customize. So I got this Flambeau Tough Crate. So it's a Tough Crate. You can store your, your tackle boxes in and you can put stuff on top of it. I am actually going to modify this so I can magnetize my catch board and sit my catch board on top of this box. So I could just turn around in my seat, take a picture of the fish on the catch board, and then that's that. So that, that's pretty slick. Uh, you got to build it out. It's pretty easy to build out. It comes with built-in rod holders, but they're just not long enough. So that's why I got those black ones. This is the Tough Crate from Flambeau. There's more. go fishing one on a graph. So I decided to go back to Lawrence this year. This is the Lawrence Elite TI2. It's a nine inch. I didn't know the Lawrence TI2 it has a touchscreen. So this is a nine inch touchscreen 
and it's got Wi-Fi and you can hook your cell phone into it. It's got this mode where you can do sonar and down vision on the same screen. They merge them together. So, in, so if you get confused and you see a brush pile and it looks like a bunch of fish on top of each other because you're not trained, <laughs> you don't have a trained eye for that yet, it doesn't look like a bunch of fish. It looks like a real brush file because that's down vision. And then all the arcs you see are all fish. It's pretty dope. It's called active imaging. Um, it's, it's, it's really dope. And they think that the fish reveal technology shows the arcs even better. Uh, and, and it's wireless. So if you want to get two of these and network them, you don't need cables. You can do it over wireless. Pretty slick. This sucker is $1,000. Right now, it's on sale at Bass Pro and Cabela's for six hundred bucks. Six hundred dollars. So, if you're looking for a graph, right now on sale, six hundred bucks. Oh, so that's pretty much it for now. There'll be more videos coming out. I'm going to be doing the kayak build video, so that should be pretty interesting. And uh, I look forward to all of this. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out.